y'all doing tonight? Okay, so tonight we're going to be doing a harvest season wreath. And we're using the smaller frame. So this is a kit, but let me just tell you. So some of these frames can be kind of confusing. This one actually says 20 inches on it. Um, so it might say like 10-20, which just means when you get the wreath on, when you get everything on, 20 inches is what it's going to be. But it's actually somewhere around 13 inches. So this is a 13 inch frame. It is elevated. The other ones are the 15 inch frame. So these kits are a little different in that um, it's just one mesh because the wreath is a lot smaller. So, yeah. So we have this really cool green. Oh, look, y'all. Look who's here. Oh, you can't see because somebody put the paper towels up here. There, now you can see. <laughs> Mama's here. And look, Belly's on the couch. She's actually behaving tonight. <laughs> I was able to give her just a tiny little bit of a of a um, of a treat. No, don't do that, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm having issues with Facebook. Okay, so here's our sign. Isn't that cute? And look at the ribbon that matches it. So see, it has those really pretty cranberry and orange colors in it. I just love it. And then we have an orange. And we have a green cream and cranberry. And another green. Okay, so this frame only has 14 on it. So I cut 14 at 20 inches. And we have some left over, so we could cut and make those little curls. Because those are fun. We probably should do that first. Let's do that first. All right, let me see if I can find it. Because the weird one that's pulling up for me. Mmm, there it is. Now I got it. All right. So, when you are doing a wreath and you have, so we did 20 inch cuts. There's only 14, so you can actually get 18 20 inch cuts from one of these rolls. So if we do eight inches, I don't know exactly how many we'll get because I have to calculate that out. But, let's see. We definitely have some. No, we're not gonna have the whole, that's for sure. You could cut them a little bit smaller. I wouldn't go a whole lot smaller than eight. But we can for sure do it on the bottom. Okay, so just hold that one out. I like doing this because it makes it a little bit bigger. Everything's good, Betty, how are you? Okay. It uses up all the roll and I don't have to have any left over. <gasps> Which is my favorite. This mesh here is moss green and it's jute. Y'all know jute is my favorite mesh. It is, it is. So this one has that weird little thing in it. So let's cut that piece off. See if we can still make a little curl out of it. We should be able to. Okay. There we go. All right. So now we have enough to get started. Okay, here we go. Let's see how many we got. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So we'll do the bottom. <laughs> Let me open up the tie. So this is an orange frame, clearly. <laughs> and it is the smaller one. I like these smaller ones. I wish they would bring more of these out. Okay, so right up the center. 
I need to move that over. Right up the center. And we'll just place it down right where we have it in the middle. Tie it off. We'll do another one. So you can see the jute always has that kind of like burlap color running through it. That's the jute. You sold all of them? That's great. Congratulations. Ava sold eight wreaths. How about that? Congratulations. The frame is 18 inches. Although when you see them listed, they say 10 dash 20, which is confusing because for some wreaths, 10 dash 20 is actually a 10 inch frame, but this one is 13 inch. These come from uh, my wholesaler. So they specifically have them. Okay, so I put the orange with the green and cranberry. So we'll just fold it in half, pinch in the middle. And we're gonna do something different than a bow because this is a smaller wreath frame. I mean, you can do a bow. There's no reason why you can't. But I think it would be fun to do something a little different. So I pull them out front like that. The kit is 36. I want to say the kit's 36. I believe the kit is $36. So it is less than the other ones because it only has one roll of mesh. And the frame is smaller, so. So yeah. Y'all can you believe that it's almost time for July to be here? Can't believe it. Oh, it also comes with these ficus leaves. Oh, the internet's going to do that thing again. I might have to call them. I meant to call them today, but today was a runaround day and so was yesterday. Crazy. Yeah, see, it's freezing again. Y'all just hang in there. It'll get better. I don't know why it's doing that. It's being a royal pain. I know. I don't think it's YouTube. I think it's my internet. They've been working on lines or something around here, and I think that's what's going on. Is that they're kind of... I don't know what they're doing. But don't worry, I always record these. So if it gets bad throughout, then I'll put the recording up and take the live down. That's usually what I do. It's frustrating, isn't it? Come on, technology. Why won't you work? Yeah, we've had a lot of storms here. It has been a rainy summer so far, hasn't it, Ma? Yes, too rainy. Uh-huh. Too much rain. Of course, it is hurricane season, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> but that, that doesn't mean we like it. We don't like that. It's not much fun. Okay. I do like to do my stuff in twos. And I am curling these side by side. Pull up, let them curl together. That ribbon just wanted to come over. Am I going to make a bow out of the elf sign and ribbon set? You want me to make just a bow set? 
I can. I know, I love these colors too. They're so fall, aren't they? So I do tie it on a good couple times. Then I just pull these forward and pull our little curl up. I've heard y'all have had some really hot weather. That's just, whew. I hear Utah's had some pretty hot weather too. Of course, I always think it's hot, so I'm not a good judge of temperature. Yeah, mom's laughing because she knows it's true. <laughs> it is, it's true. Terrible, but true. Okay. Yeah, it's hot and muggy here too. y'all starting and just like a little over a week you know the group that I'm a part of the designing gals we're gonna be doing Christmas in July we're gonna be doing special lives inside the designing gals market designing gals market it's gonna be fun I think I'm gonna whip out another bannikin. Right? I would die without the AC. <laughs> Thank you for stars. I would just like croak over. Because I'm just hot. I didn't always, I wasn't always hot. Just since they took out all my works. Everything got hot. I did not know that was going to happen. <laughs> 104. Oh my gosh, that's just horrible. Oh, nice. Maybe we should move back to Ohio. It was a nice day yeah. there today. Okay. <laughs> my mom's back here saying, no. Been there, done that. Yep, everything except the purple is gone. Yep, they went so fast, y'all. Same day. They went out like that. I do have an order for some more. So I will let y'all know as soon as they come in. Okay. So on the top, we won't do the little curl. We'll just do... That's not a good way to lose weight. Losing weight because you're sweating. No good. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. So right up the center. So when we put it up top, I just kind of pull it up to make sure it's not going to squish the bottom. That's also the reason that I tend to pull my ribbons out front. However, after you get the top on, if you want to spread them out, you can. But I'm, if I'm spreading them out, I'm not going to do it till after I do that. Thank you. The great thing is that this wreath costs less, so you can still get a good frothing on it, which is what I hope y'all are doing. So fold over, pinch in the middle. The only difference is, oh, awesome. I'm so glad. Yeah, how are y'all liking? Um, we switched to UPS, except for small stuff. 
just so y'all know. <laughs> because the post office was losing all our stuff. I mean, literally, one day they lost like 10 packages. So we had to say, I'm sorry, we can't uh, keep using you. Because I'd rather y'all have your stuff, because that's not cool. Okay. So as you notice, I'm leaving these tails open because we still have our ficus sleeves that we can put in and we might do something else with the ribbon so are <laughs> you sleepy back there mama no nope. okay just, i'm not sleepy i'm just tired she's tired her stomach has not been the best today don't y'all hate that when it's like that? I do. <laughs> I'm on this new diet. It's so weird. Don't you think so, Ma? What? My new diet's weird. <laughs> Listen, it wasn't always this quick and easy for me, so don't think that you're not going to get there. It just takes practice. Just gotta keep at it. Now I speed through it because I've been doing it a long time. But if you are struggling, just slow down a little bit and kind of go at it just a little at a time. Thank you for stars. And it will help. Also, make sure you're spreading out your hands. That makes a big difference. It sure does. Z says, hi, Mama. Who said hi, Mama? Z. Hi. Zora. I probably haven't said Z to you. I probably said Zora. Yeah. Yes, I've sold all the work forms except for the purple. But I have an order for more. Hopefully, I'll get some more this week. I'm trying. I have, I have like um, 2,400 on order. Can y'all believe that? That's crazy, isn't it? And hopefully, they'll just send them as they come in. Right? I, I listed like 700. And on the first day, 600 were gone. <laughs> I was like, wow. Yay. Okay. Yay. I mean, yes, that's good. But that was really fast. It just tells you how hard it is to find them. Yeah, Tia My Gifts has some. You can also check there. Yes, it's always recording. So I will upload it later yes ma'am i will because it is being a pain in the butt i might have to call them tomorrow i should have called them today but i went and got my hair done today i really needed it <laughs> i i had some you know like grays coming out <laughs> having teenagers in grays is not cool so <laughs> I had to go get it fixed. Okay. No, I didn't ask anything. I was just telling mom who you were. I'm used to calling you Z, but I usually call you Zora to her. So I was just telling her who you were. Look how full this is. Oh, I really love this ribbon. This is nice ribbon. It has a little bit of um, glitter in it. Can you see it? Can I kind of move it a little? Oh, I like that. Isn't that a nice size? Okay, so on the top, see how we spread out the ribbons? I was thinking we could put the sign right in the middle. 
And I want to do, I want to do little, like cheater bows up here, like little bows. Let's see. So we could do like, let's see, like four inch tail. Then like a three inch little loop. Okay. No twisting required. How cute is that? Okay. I'll show you another way. So that is just doing it in my hand. But you see how cute that is? Look how cute that is. Then we can just take it and place it. So twist these, place it right in the middle. So we can do ones like that. Then we can dovetail the ends. Okay. So let's do a couple of those. So the other way you can do it, let's see, so three, six, what, like 12, if we did 12 inches, 16. Okay. I might have cut that too short. No, that's good. Okay, so 16 inches. Then you just end up with a little loop Thank you, thank you for stars. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna put it in, twist it in, and then you just pull out the little tails. So see, it doesn't always have to be the same, and it's just fun to put something fun and addicting, addicting, I read her word. It's just fun to put something different up top. Yes, wreath making is addicting. Very. But it's fun and relaxing. This is my therapy. Okay. So let's do another mini bow and then we'll do another one of these little loops. So we did 16 inches. Okay. This one. When you've been doing it a while, you can just kind of eyeball things. So see, all I'm doing is pinching it right there, okay? I can also hold it in between my thumb and my finger, okay? Uh, you're not twisting it, you're just putting it in your hand. See? Just trim this off. Just move this under. Like that. So we'll see that one. So we'll put it here. Okay. There we go. That's so cute. So we're going to do another little looper. And I'll come back and trim these in a second. Your quiet time. See? Mine too. I love it. I love this ribbon. This is one of my new favorites. And y'all, we sell this stuff in 50 yard rolls. We have this in 50 yard rolls. I can take you all the way through. Okay. I really love this. Look how cute that is. That is so cute. Okay. So let's see. No, I don't think I would do one with that. All right, so now we can put our sign in the middle. And then we'll come back and add some of that um, 
greenery. Have you made three while you were on vacation? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I used to do too. I would come home at night and do them. And I would do them on the weekends. Okay, so I'm just putting a hole at the top and the bottom because really that's all you need to, to um, hold the sign. This is 26 gauge wire. The great thing about it is it's really hard to see. So it really hides, you know, where you tie your sign on. I do double it up. So see, I kind of meet them in the middle. So I twist it on. So what I'm going to do is take this and I'm actually going to move these two ruffles aside and just go right to the frame. And then the ruffles will naturally come right back together and you can't see. Thank you. Yeah, I had fun making this sign. It was fun, fun, fun. Oh, how fun y'all made wreaths together. They got together as friends and made wreaths. I love that. Okay. So we're going to come back and fix these little places here. Okay. So that's why I'm being kind of picky about where I'm putting it and how I'm placing it. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna pull this down a little. This. So that one I'm pulling out front because I don't want it to be in the way of the sign. So one of the things I hate is when you put a really cute sign on there and then you cover it with ribbon. <laughs> That's just not cool. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing in the front. We just move our mesh aside and just tie it right to the frame because that's where you want to tie it. It's the safest. It'll stay on. Yeah, I can do it. I would be happy to do. All right. So let's kind of, let me kind of pull it up front. All right, so right here, Right there where my finger is, is where the wire is. Can you see it? And then down here, you can see this wire hanging out. So right there. So I usually tie it on the inner ring. So see what I did is I moved this aside. I took this wire right here and I went right down to the frame and I just tied it around two or three good times. And then I'll just trim off the excess. And then you really can't see it is so if it's like this and it's nice and neat you don't have to cover the back if it's something where you have a whole lot of stuff then yeah you'd want to cover the back okay just let me kind of re-fluff our little stuff out okay oh this is the one I forgot to dovetail So this one's pretty small, so you kind of have to move the ribbons around to make sure they're not getting in the way of the sign. All right. Now, you could also take this. There's going to be a lot of ribbon left over with this one. Just because of the way the size is. Yes, Mama. Johnny's on. Oh, hi, Johnny. She's glad you're here. Well, All right, I'm so here too. <laughs> one of the things you can do, so I cut this at 16 inches, 
okay? And then I just overlapped it about an inch or so, and I can just pinch it, and I have a little bow. You could even do it smaller than that. And then what we can do is, on the ones up top, we can just kind of put that little part in there because we don't really need a tail. We just need the little loop. You could do 12 inches, 16 or 14. All that works. Absolutely. I'm happy to show y'all something if you ask. that one. Look how cute that is. Alright, let's put some of this greenery stuff in it. Now, you have plenty of ribbon, so you could do the same thing on the bottom with the little mini bows. And they're so fun and easy to make. So these you can cut into lots of pieces. Just depends on how much you want in there. And of course I forgot to turn my glue on. <laughs> so let me do that real quick. It hasn't been working very well for me. I think I'm going to have to get a new one. Which is okay because it's just an electric skillet. <laughs> it's not. It's not difficult. Okay. So we can take this. And what I would do is kind of have it coming out like this. You see that? Okay. And you may not need to, I just wanted to make sure you had enough to do kind of whatever you felt like. Let's do kind of framing the sign right there. Okay, right here, like that. So we'll just put them in because my glue is acting weird. So see how cute that is? Now we can put some on the bottom. So what you can do on the bottom, or even on the top, you take these, you kind of fold them over, and you make a little hole. Can you see the little hole right there? These ties will hold glue like nobody's business. So you can take it, there's a lot on that one, and you can put a little glue in them and pop them right in and then it just looks holds it and looks great let's put a little down here so i'm gonna make a little circle um i got the ficus picks from craig bachman let's see if we can in like this. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, we need a little bit over here because it's looking sad over here. It's saying, hey, you missed me. A little there. Okay. And I'll have to come back and glue this one. Yeah, see it turned off again. Oh, I have to go get myself a new glue pot. There we go. All right, what do we think? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I like that. That is so cute. Isn't that cute? Oh, I need some down at the bottom. Okay, there's plenty. So. Yeah, I keep turning my glue pot on. It just keeps turning itself off and the glue isn't. I've had it for a very long time, though, I will say. It's been with me a very long time, so. It deserves a break. 
even though I don't really want to give it a break. There. Awesome! I love it! What y'all think? Isn't it cute with all those little leaves in it? Yeah, Bella's good. She's sitting back there. Y'all, she is finally acting like Bella again. So, she's running around and she's begging for food like every dog. <laughs> so, she's acting like herself again. And we are done with all the pain pills and everything. The only thing that's left is um, the antibiotics. She has a few more days on antibiotics and then we'll be done. Uh, the mesh is, it's a green jute. Yeah. Thank you. Yep, it's a moss color. Thank you. Well, don't worry about the video. I will, um, I will take the recording and put it up so that y'all can watch the whole thing all the way through. <laughs> and I'll get this stuff glued in. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, this is just fun. This is a fun little wreath. And these are great for fall. So. All right. Well, I hope y'all have an absolutely fabulous night. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So, don't forget, tomorrow's at 4. And we're going to do... We're going to do this. And then I have some other stuff coming up. Let's see. Look at these. Oh, how cute are those? These are from Shore Life Creations. So we're going to be doing one of these. Y'all have to tell me which one you like more. Do you like the brown? Wait, that's the brown. <laughs> or do you like the black and white? And then we'll figure out what we're going to do with them. And I have a couple of things from Busy Bee. That's what's mine. See those? So we've got lots of fun projects coming up. And this one is from Robin. Robin's Re3. Black and white. I like the black and white too. Alright. Awesome. Well, I hope you all have a great night. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 4. Alright. Thank you all for hanging out. Sorry we had all the internet issues. But I'll get it uploaded. Okay. Bye y'all.